Hi guys, hope everyone is keeping well and, and staying very healthy. Um, what I want to set up for you today is a short game test which you can do in the back garden. It's something you can have great fun with. Um, it's very measurable so you can sort of monitor your progress. But also because there's a limited amount of golf balls, it's, it's almost creating a course-like situation and bringing that into practice. So, so what I mean by that is it's it's sort of going to sort of help you understand uh, emotionally how you, how your mind thinks when you're going through the test. For example, um, if you have a chance to beat your best score from previously, uh, do you start to get a little bit ahead of yourself and, and think about the outcome of the situation instead of taking yourself back into that process mindset of how you're going to execute uh, the shot correctly? So if I just try and sort of pop up and show you what we've set up here. So as you can see here, what, what I've done, I've got three golf clubs situated on the back lawn like so, and there's three golf balls at each particular station. You'll also notice that I have a bucket at the end there. So again, if you have a chipping net, great, but if not, a bucket is fantastic. So each of these locations here is the first club at the front there at the top, that is three paces from the bucket. We then come another three paces down, so the second club is six paces from the bucket, and this third club is nine paces from that bucket. So we have three, six, and nine to the bucket paces, and we have three golf balls in each location. So the, the aim of the test is that you literally play the three balls from here, three, six, and nine, and basically you just score it. How many balls do you get into the net or into the bucket in that test? Your first test will be your marker score. So if it's one, two, three, zero, your objective then is when you repeat the test is that you're trying to push your average score up. What you're doing by doing this is you're creating great feel, great touch um, for these short range pitches and you're having practice you can measure the progress and see whether you can improve those numbers which will help for, hopefully give you great confidence when you head back out onto the golf course. So as I was saying this will also help you massively in understanding how relaxed or how mentally you are when you go through the process of this, um, of this short game test. Have great fun with it, keep your scores, and let's see if we can really sharpen up and be ready to go when, the, when we get back on that golf course. Have a great day and stay safe.